near the Duplessis Allen Drive. Weekdays from 4 on News Talk ZB. Anyone else starting to develop the niggling feeling that Labour is anti motorist? If you are, that's actually a massive problem for Labour. Of course, I'm asking you this question off the back of the EV announcement yesterday. And the political nerds right now will be wondering how much this new petrol car tax is going to hurt Labour. The answer is. Not a lot right now, because I mean, you don't buy cars every day, right? So most of us probably can't see right now how or when it's gonna get us or how much we'll be stung by. But this is a slow burner issue. People are going to get annoyed over time as they get reminded over and over again how anti-motorist this government is. Bizarrely, the government is going to remind you about your new car tax. Now, I just expected that they would be clever and bury it in the price of the car that you're buying, so you'd never really have to know how much you're paying in tax. No. When you buy your new car or your imported second-hand vehicle, they are going to force you to log on to register your car for the first time and you will be redirected to a website where you will find out what your tax is and you will have to pay your tax. Every person will be reminded that they are being taxed. So how many people is that going to annoy? Well, in 2019, there were 245,000 new registrations of cars in this country. If that number holds, then between this car tax coming in at the start of next year and the 2023 election, about 430 car owners, 430,000 car owners, will log on, log on to find out how many thousands they're paying in tax, right? That's about 12 or 13% of voters. If the car is owned by a couple and both of them are annoyed at the tax, it will be up to about 24, 25, uh, 26% of annoyed voters now. That's quite a lot. And I suspect it's going to irritate more people than not. Because most of us only care about climate change until it starts costing us actual money and then we don't care as much anymore. And this feeds that growing narrative that Labour is out to get you if you're a motorist. This announcement, plus the boomer bike bridge to Birkenhead, plus the cancellation of desperately needed roading projects like Mill Road south of Auckland and State Highway 1 from Port Marsden to Whangarei, plus all the cycleways being built everywhere, plus the removal of car parks, plus the planter boxes popping up to block off-roads in your neighbourhood and that petrol levy in Auckland. All of that is going to remind you they're not listening to you. They are deliberately leaving you in congestion. And then every time you pay this tax or get told by your wife or your brother or your mum or your friend how annoyed they are at paying this tax, it all adds up to a growing annoyance at all of us having to pay more but going nowhere faster in the sense that Labour just doesn't like motorists. And that over time might well hurt them. Heather Duplessis Allen Drive, weekdays from 4 on News Talk ZB.